All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my Banter Blitz number 103. I think I should stop counting at this point because after hitting a milestone like 100, um, I should uh, chill a little bit and, you know, just uh, let the numbers pass by. And uh, I will maybe do a mini celebration at uh, 150 or something and then a big one uh, at 200. But uh, good to be with you guys. I was... Um, uh, tuning in into Mr. Uh, Jan's banter right before. So I'm sorry for those who were waiting and uh, sorry for being uh, 10 minutes late. But when Mr. Jan is doing a banter and talking about movies, you got to let him finish. I uh, I challenged him to, uh, to a bullet game, but unfortunately, uh, he didn't have uh, the time to accept my uh, my challenge. That's very unfortunate. I... Uh, I have a feeling that Yan is the kind of guy who's not aware of Bishop H6. And uh, he's the kind of guy who could fall for it, right? Like if I if I challenge a guy like uh, Andrew Tang or Carlson, like there's no way that they're falling for it. But a guy like Yan, uh, I'm not too sure, right? He just got Instagram. Maybe he's not too much on social media. Maybe he doesn't get that exposure. Maybe he's not used to, to dirt. He, he looks like a very classy guy who would play three plus two in Germany. Uh, but hey, I don't know him uh, very well. So if you guys know him very well, uh, just let me know in the chat if um, if he's the guy, the type of guy who would fall for Bishop H6. And uh, don't tell him because uh, that would be my dream to Bishop H6, another Bentor streamer. That could be cool. Oh, Queen Bella, all the way from Malaysia. It's been a while. It's been a while, Queen Bella. Thank you so much for tuning in. It really means the world to me. Uh, Lafon, one problem with Bishop H6 is that it only works once against each player. Prom night, you would be surprised how I Bishop H6 multiple times the same players. I don't think I'm allowed to uh, <laughs> to uh, name them out loud because uh, that would uh, uh, not look good for them. But without further ado, uh, I'm gonna start taking some uh, some challenges while uh, while talking to you guys. Oh my God, my hair, my hair! I'm too tall, too tall. I need a haircut. Okay, all right, all right. Need a haircut. Well, I'm actually getting a haircut this Friday, so I have to uh, to cope with uh, this volume for uh, <laughs> just a little bit. Mr. Iron Man, who challenged first, is getting a first game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, Queen Bella, looking forward to my games. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to play a lot of Blitz today. I'm two rating points away from my peak, which is uh, 20, 32, 24, sorry. Mr. Sirius Lama uh had a draw against me in the last banter so uh mr sirius lama if you are in the chat i am not very happy if you're in the chat i'm not very happy uh i will need to uh settle this a little bit i will have to uh, correct that score by probably adopting you in uh, our future matches that being said, he played b5 instead of a6. So it's kind of an improvement for him. Uh, and I also remember last time that uh, I kind of struggled to beat this uh, Iron, Man, Iron Man buddy. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to let him get the exchange here. And I'm probably going to go knight b5 and fish for stuff. Fish for stuff. Wow. From New Zealand. But you know what? Like New Zealand, you almost get less props than Malaysia because New Zealand, it's probably early enough in the morning so you had time to wake up. Whereas Queen Bella is purposely not going to sleep and staying awake for me. So I, I don't know. What time is it in New Zealand? If you tell me it's past 7 a.m., good chances are that uh, you went to sleep and you set an alarm to... Uh, to uh, watch my banter, but hey, Michael51, jokes aside, I'm super happy uh, that you are watching and uh, I really do appreciate it. With that being said, I'm already down two pawns in this game, so let's try to not blunder my whole board. Rook takes, interesting. All right, so he's offering me all his rooks. I'm gonna take this rook first. Threatening this knight. So if he takes this guy, I might take this guy first. He takes this one. All right. So he, he can play knight of three, but I'm not really worried about that. 
So let's just grab the second rook. So now I'm up two rooks for a bishop. That's a lot of pieces. That's a lot of pieces. He's going to have to uh, 7.40 a.m. in uh, New Zealand. Interesting, Michael51. And uh, did you go to sleep or did you stay awake all night for me? Um, New Zealand is um, is definitely a country I will want to uh, to visit one day. Um, but for now, what I'm focused about is Iron Man's bishop over here. Uh, I am expecting knight c6. Okay, so knight c6, either bishop g4 or bishop takes. Is bishop takes a good move? I think it works. Takes, takes, bishop b7, rook c7, forking those pieces. If he doesn't do anything, I can even take this guy. Um, yeah, Queen Bella, I know that. I know that. I know that uh, you are staying up for me. And uh, I can even uh, go further by saying that you probably had a workout. You probably had a workout just before. Thank you, Mr. Vasilev. Appreciate it. Lafong, are you going to play some weaker opponents than Andrew Tang and Vincent and Bullet today? Uh, are you, are you, um, is this a form of complaining, Prom Knight? Are you complaining that I'm playing Andrew Tang and Vincent? Uh, because uh, I think it's an honor for me to to play them. I mean, if, if they challenge me, I I don't see myself declining their challenges. If they're not challenging me and I have some time left, of course I could play some weaker players than them. <laughs> okay, no, I was just kidding, Mr. Um, I was just kidding, Mr. Prom Knight. So Rook D1, I'm just going to get this pawn for free. I mean, it's really a walk in the park. I predict C4. Oh, he doesn't go for C4. Okay. Uh, what do I go, go here? Okay, just this is enough. I mean, the bishops are creating sort of a wall against this king. And this is a pretty clean performance. And I just adopted a new son, Mr. Iron Man. Welcome to the Lafong family. Uh, it is great to have you in my family. And uh, yeah, maybe one day you will meet Benoni. Benoni is uh, my future cat, guys. Uh, I, I say this, I say this, but I'm seriously serious. Like I'm going to get a cat at some point. Um, ideally, maybe, maybe by the end of 2020, like before 2021, definitely. I want to have a cat and name this cat Benoni. Um, if you got any advices for cat guys, just, uh, send me DMS on Instagram. Uh, let me know in the chat, but I am looking for a cat. Uh, tell me about colors. Uh, I, I don't know. Just give me any advice. I'm a cat noob. I'm probably 600 in terms of cat knowledge. All I know is that they are cute. And uh, one of my guilty pleasure on Instagram is to go to my explore page and open all those cat videos. And uh, it is really, uh, really a fun thing to do, you know, just before falling asleep. All right. That being said, let's play Mr. Vasilev Andre who gave me some compliments in the chat from Spain. Oh, is this a kid? He looks like a kid on his picture. Uh, let's give a kid a Benoni. All right. Okay. So he doesn't want my Benoni. He's going for this very solid setup. Okay. I'm going to play a hedgehog. Man, kids are fast. Kids are fast. You got to be, you got to beat them over the board. There's no way I can beat this guy on time, right? Is there? Caro Cat, that's a very funny name. That's cool. Um, okay, Rook here, Queen C7. So what's great about uh, the Hedgehog is that you can play all those moves without thinking. And only after this, you start thinking. So Rook E8 or Rook D8? I feel that Rook D8 is better in this variation. I don't see any danger for this Bishop. And uh, often, Black wants to break with D5 or B5. Kemal Piri, my Instagram buddy. What's up? Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for making a story the other day. I really do appreciate it. Can I play B5? Uh, can I play B5? And B5 is a bit risky for now. Uh, let's go Queen A8 or here. Let's just uh, Rook FD8. I hesitated. I didn't pull the trigger, but b5 is the kind of move I'm going to make in the future. Oh, I don't like this move for him. 
I have at least 94 here. Um, or maybe even b5 or d5. Let's play knight e4. This move cannot hurt. This move cannot hurt. I can play b5 or d5. Which one is it going to be? Oh, this move, I maybe have this. His pieces are really loose now. Takes, 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 takes. Hmm. Okay, let's go b5. I have a feeling that his position is really loose. I might have some dirt with bishop d5 after. We will see. We will see what's going on. But uh, in a lot of lines, he's losing some material. Okay, he goes here. Now I'm going to take this guy. He goes here. I can at least play d5. Uh, yeah, let's go d5. If he takes, I might take and play bishop d5. He has to calculate some stuff here. It is not that obvious. Is he losing an exchange here? Is he losing an exchange? Can I play bishop f6? Bishop f6 takes, takes. I think he's losing an exchange. Uh, yeah, because I have rook c1 if he takes like this. The bishop has to go away. Then I take. If he takes with the bishop, this is hanging. I think I'm confident about this. Okay, he goes here. I'm going to take this rook first. I'm going to take this guy. Now he has to sack like this. And in some lines, I got knight c5 at the end. So rook takes. Bishop takes, bishop takes, knight c5. And this is brutal because I take and I checkmate here. Yes, tall hair. I know I'm getting a haircut on Friday, guys. Don't roast my hair. Don't roast my hair. I actually like it like this. It's not bad, but uh, the sides are... Uh, getting longer so i need the i need my typical fade i i don't mind the top the top can be as long as it can be but uh the sides need to be short and that's the reason why i often cut my hair okay all right so we're having a pretty good game over here let's uh let's play boring and exchange queens oh brendozen uh brendozen enjoying uh the tactics huh all right, I'm going to play queen d5 in uh, most lines. The moves a knight, queen d5. Queen here, just uh, queen d6, just going to defend. I'm going to free my king over here. All right, if he wants to do this, let's take here and not hang any pieces. Let's go back. And uh, let's play boring style. h5. Oh, I could have exchanged the queens. All right, let's exchange the queens. And uh, that... Will be it, Vasilev Andre. Nice playing with you. Uh, you are a very talented kid. I don't know how, how old you are, but uh, that was a very good game. Just missed some tactics. Uh, rook d rook d two rook d four was kind of strange. You don't want to put your rooks in the middle of the board like this. You know, rooks uh, rooks are good in your uh, in your own end. You know, only Andrew Tang and Hannes flagging Wafang. Well, it is not a surprise that Andrew Andrew Tang is uh, flagging me. I mean, he's a uh, <laughs> He's a much better version of, uh, of me. All right. Uh, so Kemal Piri. Kemal Piri. You gave me some love on Instagram. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good luck to you, buddy. Boring style is the best style. Well, it depends. Not everyone enjoys uh, my, my boring chess here. Some people would like me to uh, take more risk in general. Do you guys want another Benoni? Another Benoni. All right, let's go. Let's push d5, Mr. Kemal. Come on, do it. Oh, come on. No, I mouse slip. Oh, my God. Okay, it's not the worst mouse slip ever, but uh, it's a very strange move to make h6. Okay, all right. Uh, Got to take here. Oh, GM Derek. Wait, GM Derek is a kid, right? Or a teenager. I always see him like lurking and uh, all those teenagers chat like, uh, who are they? Uh, Carissa Yip, uh, Kimmy Liu, you know, all those uh, American girls. I see this guy lurking around those girls all the time. I don't know if I'm right. I, I might be wrong. Like, I'm sorry if I'm insulting you or something. But uh, whenever I tune in on those streams, Mr. Jim, Der Derek, always there. Always, always there. So, Mr. Jim Derek, welcome to uh, welcome to my show. 
I don't know if you uh, know me personally, um, but I've seen your name. I've seen your name. I don't know if you're a GM. I have no idea. And I assume you're a teenager. I assume you're a teenager if you're hanging out in those chats. Um, all right. Bishop e6 here. Oh, he's really looking for trouble. All right. So I guess knight h5. I'm going to at least get the bishop versus a knight. But he might also blunder the knight over here. Uh, oh, Dirk. Dirk 99. Wow. It's been a while. It's been a while. I don't remember the last time I saw you. I think we were... Uh, we had some games, right, Mr. Dirk? Oh, okay, let's play boring again. Just going to exchange queens over here. Uh, yeah, takes, takes. I love fung someone over the board, by the way, in a classical game. Man, this is amazing. How did you do it, Jim Derek? Like, did you do it with bishop h6 or was it bishop b2? How, how did you do it? It's impressive. I don't even think that I succeeded to... Uh, to do it in a normal blitz game. So really props to you. And uh, really happy to inspire some young teenagers like you to uh, show some dirt. You know, Bishop H3 with black. But later in the game, uh, you would have to uh, to explain exactly, GM Derek. You would have to explain. If you, uh, if you like the hair, uh, Derek, give me a little follow on IG. I post a lot of uh, pictures, including my hair. <laughs> so uh, it would be good to uh, to connect with you. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I don't know if you're premium on Chess24, but uh, challenge me, Derek, if you want to have a game. Kim Alpiri, thanks for playing. And I just reached my highest ever rating on Chess24, guys. 32.25. Really, really happy about it. I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm saying is true. Someone can look it up. Is this my highest ever rating? Because I remember like drawing against Sirius Lama and dropping by like 14 points last stream. But, uh, okay, let's, uh, okay, a smiley face, you might get a game, uh, but you're 1,400. And if I'm going to take three minutes to play you, I'm, I'm going to still work for my one rating point, right? Like, I don't want to work for three minutes for nothing. So, smiley face, if you change it to rate it, I might accept. Mr. Fighter360, Fighter360 with the Dutch. This guy is annoying. All right, let's not... Uh... <laughs> No, no, I know, I know that I said that, Iron Man, but I'm not 100% uh, convinced that what I said was true. <laughs> so someone can look it up. It's 32.25 right now, my highest ever Chess24 rating. Because if it is, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. GM Derek, are you premium? Really? Really? You are premium. That's impressive if you are. A lot of people on Twitch that are not chatting on uh, Chess24 are not premium. So if you are, it's really impressive. Uh, all right, let's go here. I'm going to play against his, uh, against his uh, hedgehog or whatever it is. Wow. I have a bad feeling. Are you GM, Derek? I mean, I have mixed feelings. If you are a GM, I don't mind losing to you and it will be an honor. But if you are like, uh, you know, those typical like 2150 rated American kids who are worth like 2300 and who are monsters and blitz, like, I don't like those. <laughs> and uh, you might be one of those. Uh, it's like a it's like a read I have, you know. The Zen doesn't want to ruin my day. Wow. Thanks. Oh, oh my God. I, it's a good thing. I pre-moved that. He could have played knight takes, right? He could have played knight takes and take my queen if he's stream sniping me. All right. Let's find the optimal square for the queen. Um, I have a feeling that it's on d2 uh, simply because I'm putting some pressure here. Although queen on b2 would look nice as well. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, all right. Let's push h4. I'm not sure that... Uh, I'm a big fan of my game right now. I'm going to have to activate this bishop. I don't have such a good game right now. Um, okay, let's go rook here. He's going to play... Rook, oh, rook c8 I win upon. So that's a, actually a very good trap. He has to play queen b6 here. Um, b5, I'm not too convinced. I actually hate b5 for him. And the reason why I hate it... Is because when we're fighting for the C file, 
I might put a rook on c6 so he can never trade. Well, he can trade, but uh, I think it gives me a super, super nice pawn structure. Thank you so much, DM Derek. I'm approaching 800 uh, followers, so every follow right now on this stream means the world to me. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Derek. Can I take here? Is this a pawn? That's a free pawn, right? Takes, rook takes, pawn f7, bishop c6. Yeah, this is good. All right, let's take here and let's take here. Once a bra, always a bra. Couldn't agree more. Here, uh, queen d4 check. Queen b6, okay, rook here. Um, maybe bishop c6 is the most precise. I want to limit uh, the activity of the knight. And by pushing b5, I'm cementing my bishop on this really gorgeous square. And um, let's play check. I expect queen f6, which is going to lose a rook. No, he does a lot better than I thought. So let's go rook a1 and go rook a7. And this is going to be more than painful for him. Let's go here. And now this is a free rook, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. GM Derek says bishop e8 just won. No, you are probably right, Mr. GM Derek. You know, I... Uh, don't be confused by my rating. I'm uh, I'm just a patser who uh, is good at flagging people. So fighter 360, GG. Uh, GM Derek says Bishop E8 was winning. Oh, yes, 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 Bishop E8. See, see, GM Derek, you see some tactics that I can't see. So you are just too strong. Uh, I made a promise to Mr. Smiley Face. So I'm going to give you a game. Uh, Mr. Uh, smiley Face. And then I'm hovering uh, uh, around the challenges just to see who is challenging. But, you know, in reality... Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, someone just challenged me with my profile picture. Uh, sorry, that really made me laugh. I might accept it. Um, I'm looking for Vincent. Unfortunately, Vincent is not here. Are we going to play a... Are we going to play a... Uh... Benoni only stream today? Benoni only stream. But you know, unfortunately, no one wants a Benoni. No one wants a Benoni. Everyone is too afraid. Hello, Mr. Ken. Welcome to the show. And that's the problem when you play lower rated players. They trade queens and they try to make a draw. That's the problem. And then I'm going to predict what's going to happen here. I'm going to flag him in a completely equal position. And he's going to complain that I'm playing really boring. And then I'm just flagging him and that, uh, you know, I have no skills. Do you, do you, do you happen to know Anthony He? Uh, no, I don't think I know him, Derek. Uh, I mean, what's his background and why would I know him? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure. Okay, Mr. Ken. Uh, noted, noted. So I'm up a pawn, up a pawn. I could trade, I could trade to make it, uh, I could trade to get two pawns. Let's go here. FM for, for wash from Washington. Are you talking about Washington West coast? Great at blitz and bullet. Um, Unfortunately, I don't know him, uh, Derek. But if it's if it's Washington uh, West Coast, that's like super far for me. So it's kind of normal that I don't know him. Yeah, Washington State. That's uh, pretty far, I think. Okay, Rook D two or just E six uh, or E five. I'm gonna play E six and uh, bring my king in. I'm just gonna be super solid here. Not gonna do anything crazy. I just want to chill and talk to you guys without taking any risk. All right, so he's doing a very strange uh, knight maneuver. I don't know where he's going, but I'm going right here, and I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start collecting some pawns here. He's going to play knight f2 very soon, so let's play b5. Okay, e5 is normal. And then let's try to show some technique over here. 
let's try to show some technique. Uh, he wants to grab this pawn. Do we care about this pawn? Or do we not care at all? I have a feeling we really don't care about that pawn. I got a feeling that what matters here is that his knight doesn't get to e4. Or even if he does get to e4, is it the end of the world? Uh, let me just calculate. Okay, let's play b4. Takes. Uh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I, am I botching this? Wait a sec. If he plays check, no, I'm fine. Okay, let's let's take here. Takes a2, rook a5, rook d1. Okay, just making sure that... Uh, <laughs> just making sure I'm not getting mated over here. Rook c8, rook d8. Uh, rook here, I go king here. He has to go here. And then I play check. I, I, it was completely uh, not necessary to play this way, guys. This is not a good way to play chess when you are up material. Don't start sacking. All right, now my goal is to simply sack the rook versus the knight to eliminate any sort of nonsense. Rook two squares from the knight is always a good idea. It prevents any kind of forks. And now let's just uh, approach with the knight and uh, something good will happen. I can try to go target the, the h2 pawn. Knight here. Okay, let's go rook here and rook c2. Okay, let's go rook c2. He's going to check just to be annoying. Nope, he doesn't check. Let's go knight f1. He's going to go knight g5. And this is a sort of a zugzong, right? Wait, that pawn was hanging. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, let's play check. Okay, my mating technique is definitely not on point right here. So since I can't mate him, I think I'm just going to flag him. Oh, there you go. There's a mate, a smiley face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened here? Smiley face, GG. Sorry about that, guys. Just going to reload my screen. Hopefully everything is okay. Okay, guys, uh, Vincent is challenging. So I'm going to have to uh, warm up before Vincent. Uh, I'm going to pick someone um, around, 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 around 2000. All right, this Turkish player deserves a game. Guys, Vincent is in the house. Uh, I'm going to have to play some serious chess here. I can't, uh, I can't play a 1400 and show poor technique up a rook, you know? Vincent is not going to be impressed. And I'm not impressed on myself right now. I have to uh, play my best here and show you guys that I can play chess. And then Mr. GM Vincent will get a taste of my chess. So, all right, let's try to beat the Benoni. Let's try to beat the Benoni over here. Which line is he going to play? Rook e8, knight d2. a6, I'm going to go a4. And on that note, I really need to drink more coffee to be ready for Vincent. Cheers, guys, to anyone who is drinking anything right now. Let's go castle. And um, I'm expecting rook b8 or queen c7 which are the two normal moves in this position. Anything else is too slow, like this move. I'm going to play bishop f3. And the problem here is that he's releasing tension from the center. And I'll try to play knight c4 and e5. Yes, Amadeus Burrito. Yes, yes, yes. Always a latte. I think uh, there's not. there might be a single stream out of 103 <laughs> that I didn't get a latte. But those are very rare. He is going to get smashed here, guys. He's going to play queen c7, and he's going to eat e5. And then I'm going to pre-move d6. Queen is going to go back. F e5. This is a terrible game for my opponent, unfortunately. <laughs> milk and whiskey. I wish I wish I could drink milk and whiskey and play good chess, but unfortunately, um, unfortunately, I have to stay sober for this stream. Because uh, I do care about my rating. So let's take this guy, knight h7. And now, as I would say in French, j'ai l'embarras du choix. I could take here 
but I could also play knight d5, which is pretty strong because if he takes here, I have to I have 97 check. So I think I could either go here and collect the exchange. Um, what should I play here? I'm really thinking about it. This is a mean move, but check is positionally too strong. Positionally too strong here. He's going to, okay. All right. So he decides that um, he doesn't want to tolerate any more bullying. And now I could play bishop d5, which is a pretty good move. I'm threatening this pawn over here. Bishop e6 and then bishop f4, rook d8. Oh, he takes here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you really get away with this? I'm going to play check over here. Wow, really? Buddy, 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 you are playing with fire. You are playing with fire. Knight d6, still up an exchange over here. Bishop takes, I got to be careful about bishop d4 check. Uh, if I go here, I think it's safe. Bishop d4 check, I go here, takes, takes, queen e3, rook f2. Okay, let's go here. <laughs> yes, GM Derek, this is my 103. Is it your first time tuning in, buddy? Because uh, at Banter, Banter 100 was really cool. It's on YouTube. You can look it up. I uh, had some special guests. And um, I played a bullet match versus uh, Mark Plotkin. I am sure you know him very well. And I also played my uh, good buddy, Pascal Charbonneau. Uh, you can have a look at all those in the replays. I guess I can take this guy. Okay, now rook a7, queen f3. What is the most precise? I really want to punish him here. Really want to punish him. Uh, like, oh no, queen f1 drops a knight. That's not a very good idea. Why am I so slow over here? Okay, let's go bishop e8. Let's trade pieces. When in doubt, trade pieces. Okay, this uh, kind of simplifies the position. Let's go rook a8. And I might have some uh, dirt on the back rank. Knight g5 is... Oh, okay. Really? Really? All right. I'm going to start pawn hunting. And I'm going to collect all the pawns over here. Let's uh, take this guy. Let's take that guy. And I guess we are trying to flag over here. Uh, let's play check. Yeah, this is just a very simple flag. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bother winning this game like uh, over the board. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna do the business. I'm just gonna do the business of uh, flagging him, which is uh, much more simple than trying to find a win here. All right, GG, Mr. Bionisi, GG. Okay, 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 okay. Are you guys ready for the main event? Are you ready for your favorite Benter streamer getting destroyed? Well, you tune in to the right show. I am playing Young Prodigy, 16-year-old, I think, or 15-year-old, one of the two. 16-year-old from Germany, Vincent. And don't be confused by his rating. This guy is way better than me. So I'm ready. Let's go for a Benoni. I am doing this on purpose. Playing bad openings against Vincent. So if I win, he has absolutely no excuses. Let's go here. Let's go knight here. Okay. Rook here. Knight c7, and then knight a8. I'm going to try to uh, chase his knight away here. Let's see how he plays this. Knight here. Um, so I guess I can take this guy. Can I play knight c7 and b5? Or can I play b5 right away? Takes, takes. I think I can, right? Then I take like this. I play knight c7 and rook b4. Do I have an okay game here? Uh, 
Okay, queen c2. Uh, gonna. Does he want knight here? But knight have bishop f5. I think this is okay. And then rook, rook is coming to b4. Okay, he's gonna try to pressure me here. Can I play here, here, and bishop here? Uh, let me think. Okay, let's go bishop f5. e4. Uh, can I take this guy? Wait a sec. Vincent, are you bluffing? Are you bluffing, Vincent? I guess you're not bluffing. Maybe bishop b5 next. I got to be careful about e5. Moves like e5 are really dangerous. Uh, rook b4. Maybe rook b4 and bishop b5. Rook b4, if he takes here, takes, takes. Mm. I'm way too slow. Way too slow. All right, I gotta gotta speed it up a little bit. This is not acceptable, guys. This is really not acceptable. He wants to play e5, right? Okay, let's go here. I cannot allow e5, but the problem here is that he might try to play f4 and e5. I'm gonna have to uh, add some more pressure over here. Okay, takes. I take. He takes like this. Uh, let's take like this. Can I take here? Rook takes, rook b8. Do I have enough pressure? I feel that I do have enough pressure. Okay, rook b8. I gotta speed things up. I gotta speed it up. Maybe rook b4, f5. I, I, I might have some compensation here. Uh, okay, rook b4. Okay, h5. I gotta play faster. Got to play way faster here. Okay, he goes here. Let's go king here. Let's not allow him to uh, do anything funny here. He wants to play queen c3. This is really smart. Okay, let's go here. Queen g3. Okay, no, 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 Vincent. No, we are not. Man, he's playing so well. Okay, let's go here. Let's take this guy. Hopefully, I'm not getting mated here. Okay, let's go here. He has to trade queens. Oh, shoot. He's playing really fast. Um, let's go here. Oh, Vincent. Okay. This is more than unpleasant. This is very, very unpleasant. Let's go here. Okay. Um, I gotta go here and hopefully I don't get made it. I have some stalemate ideas here. I definitely have some stalemate ideas. Stay tuned guys for stalemate ideas. Or is he going to flag me with absolutely no mercy? Check. Check. Okay, do I have a stalemate? Check, takes, check, rook g4. Check. I'm gonna lose this. Oh, damn. I tried, you know. I, I really tried, guys. I really tried. All right, GG, Mr. Vincent. Too strong. Too strong. Um, you played wrong rook to d4. I don't know, Derek. I don't think I missed a stalemate because if I sack, he goes to rook g4, right? And then I have to trade rooks. But uh, I have no excuses. He uh, he outplayed me. But 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 I thought I had a good game. I'm going to probably analyze this game and try to figure out what went wrong. But... Uh, Overall, I have to be happy about the result. Overall, I have to be happy, you know? I, oh, pawn takes. That's strange. Really? Vincent, are you prepping against me? Are you prepping against me? Because I'm really honored if you do. 
Okay. All right. Let's. Oh my God. Is he gonna play knight g4 and just mate me? Oh, don't don't do it. Don't mate me like this. Um. Okay. What did I do here? Why am I so slow? Okay. Let's go here. I bet he's gonna play d4. And it's already a little bit unpleasant. Bishop here. Interesting. Uh, I don't want to play f3. Can I go here? Okay. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is already unpleasant. If I take d4, huh? But rook fd1? Is it that clear? Is it that clear? Queen has to move away. And then... If I take, he takes here. That's the problem. Can I play knight f1? Yeah, this is uh, slightly unpleasant. It's uh, not easy to play this guy. He's very strong. Queen d3. Hopefully, I'm not blundering anything. But now, next move, I'm threatening to take. Uh, because he doesn't have any more discoveries. I need to play way faster. I'm respecting him way too much here. Showing too much respect to Vincent. Let's go here. Oh, man. Did I lose a piece? Wow, what a really nice tactic. What a really nice tactic here. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the show. I hope you are enjoying the show provided by Mr. Vincent. Um, knight here. Uh, let's go knight here. I'm just trying to confuse him here. Oh man. Okay, let's play a4. Takes. This is, uh, this is rough, guys. This is pretty rough. Not easy. Uh, I need some dirt. I need some dirt. I don't know how, but uh, I need some dirt. Mm. Okay, 96. I mean, if I can trade those two pawns, it's not like that bad, right? Okay, let's go here. Um, okay, is this some dirt if he takes 96? Oh, yes, check. This is dirt to myself. Although, I'm getting this pawn. Oh, is my knight getting out? Rook b7. This is tough, guys. This is tough. Okay, let's uh, let's be annoying and fish for, uh, fish for dirt. We are fishing for dirt here. Okay, knight d4. It's much e it's it's much harder for him to uh to play because he's the one playing for wins so he always needs to uh to find concrete moves rook b5 drops this you know like it's uh it's kind of annoying okay uh, I cannot take this so let's go here Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna keep annoying him, Vincent. I'm gonna keep annoying you. Okay, let's go here. Threatening knight b6. It is not easy for him. I always have some uh, some very dirty, nasty tricks. Oh man. Okay, that was a big mistake. That was a big mistake, guys. That was a big mistake. I uh, I was having fun with my knight for uh, for a little while, but uh, okay, no more dirt. Too good, man. Too good. All right, Vincent. All right. Uh, he's not done. All right, he really wants to. <laughs> he really wants to punish me. Well, I'm not gonna change anything because I like the first game I had. I'm gonna play the Benoni again. I really like the first game I had. So let's play a6. I like the idea of playing knight, knight a8. Okay. 
I'm gonna go here. Bishop e2, knight e5. Okay. I like I like this whole idea. I'm just gonna have to improve it. Maybe maybe I didn't have to sack a pawn earlier. Okay, knight c7 and knight a8 is the idea. And then oh he wants to push f4. Okay, interesting. Um Okay, let's go knight here. He's still forced to uh, give me this. Okay, now let's go back. And I really want to push b5. So he has to go a5 here. I was liking what I the game I had before. Let's try to improve on that. Bishop here. b5 takes, takes rook a7. Is he bluffing again? Takes, takes, takes. Man, Vincent is always giving me those pawns. Okay, let's go here. I got b2 in the end. So take rook a7, rook b7. Takes, 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 takes here. Am I okay? Am I okay? I want to push b4 next. Takes, takes. He cannot take like this, right? I take this guy. He has to take with the knight. Okay, now I think... I can take here and take this guy. Then this pawn is, uh, I mean, my, my structure is okay here. Okay, queen here, I'm going to go bishop e5. If he pushes f4, it might his structure might be weak here. I'm happy to see f4. f4, I'm just going to go back to, uh, to g7. Okay, now, okay, now I think I have a good game, guys. Rook a8 and rook, e, rook a1. How can I be worse? How am I worse here? Check, check. Guys, I'm not. I'm not doing worse here. So, if he pushes f4, okay. Now I'm gonna go um, king g7 and f5. And the point is, he can never move his. Yeah. Now, now he can defend this pawn. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Oh, queen here. I didn't see that move. Uh, this is annoying. This is slightly annoying. Uh, I'm not happy about this. Um, bishop a6 is a stretch, right? Is bishop a6 too fancy, guys? Bishop a6 takes check and take. Oh, he has bishop f1. I almost blundered. That would have been very embarrassing. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, he has check. Okay, I'm playing some very, very, very bad moves. Not happy about my chess right now. Um, I can't get, I can't let him get to here. Oh, this is painful. Oh, this is really painful, guys. Um, let's go here. Oh man, Vincent is so strong. I really had an okay game, but I uh, kind of botched it. Okay, like I have to go back here. The question is, can he make progress? Um, okay, let's go back here. I'm happy. Now his queen cannot come back and hunt me. Bishop c8, I can't play this. Okay, let's go here. Takes. Uh, queen h6, no. Queen f7. Oh, let's go here. I'm really nervous here, guys. Really nervous. Take. Let's go here. Um, I gotta go for it, right? Is he meeting me? Is he meeting me? Check. I have to go here. No, he's meeting me. Oh, really, really, really on tilt. Okay, Vincent, GG's. All right, 3-0 I think is enough. I think 3-0 enough. You know, like you can beat me like three times like this and then beat me another time and say you adopted me. But uh, no, that, that was good. That was good. Um, so I definitely had an okay game. Come on, how bad can my game be here? Come on, guys. Okay, f5 was pretty bad, so I didn't want him to push e4. But if I just go here and here, 
I'm sure I'm 100% sure I'm okay. The only weakness I have is on d6. So what if I just go bishop c8 and bishop f5? Like, how can I lose this, right? Like h5, something like h5 and just reroute this bishop. And uh, yeah, I mean, I thought, uh, I thought I was doing okay. I mean, not my best performance today, but uh, got to give it up to, uh, to Vincent, who, uh, let's be honest, outplayed me today. So, Vincent, congratulations. It is uh, always uh, an honor to, uh, to play versus you. And um, whenever you lose to Vincent, uh, you go back, you drop, you punish yourself. And you play a guy like um, you play like a guy like Peteros, you know, just to gain some uh, confidence back. So Peteros, good luck to you. And I'm gonna try to uh, to beat him. Okay, let's go here and uh, let's see if he uh, improved. Okay, Bishop. Uh, knight here, I think bishop f1 and d4 is what I'm going to do. Too late for Vincent. Yes, you guys just missed Vincent. You guys just missed torture. Me losing three times in a row is what you've just missed. Uh, b6, uh, b6 is a little passive. I don't really like this for him. Hikaru, new hairstyle. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you guys keep uh, calling me Hikaru. It is really a compliment. Let's go here. I know Vincent played so well. I mean, he completely outplayed me. I have no excuses. But but I, I think my openings are uh, getting better against him. So I'm happy that uh, I got some good games. Wait a sec. Is this a pawn? Is this a pawn? I got a feeling that I'm winning a pawn here. How were my two minutes of explaining chess? Oh, yes, Prom Night, it's done. We're, we're done shooting the video. Whenever it's going to air, you guys are going to know. Follow my Instagram, Prom Night, and you will keep... You will be updated on anything that happens chess-wise. I'm going to probably make a post. Lucas Wang in the house, my student, my favorite student, Lucas Wang in the Chess24 chat. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Lucas. You are the best. Let's go Rook D1. It's okay, Prom Knight. Just keep asking every, every four streams you can ask, and eventually... That video will air. So bishop a6, you know, just to be annoying. Bishop d4, again, just to be annoying. And uh, if he pushes his luck and goes here, I might have some surprise for him. Rook, bishop here, although, although, is my bishop trapped? Is my bishop trapped? Am I that bad? How many students does Lafong have? Uh, too many. Too many. B4. Rook A3. Rook A1 is my plan. And unless I miscalculate it, I think I'm winning a piece here. Oh, Prom Knight. Mishak definitely knows. You can't compare yourself to Lucas Wang. Come on. Mishak is a high, sc high schooler. I don't think he would be bothered by those kind of comments uh wait a sec did i blunder again can i take and go here wait a sec let me think can i take this guy take b7 knight here takes 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 huh what's going on here Okay, let's pray. Let's pray that it works. Aha, okay. I obviously didn't calculate this. Uh, 
Wait, am I losing? Am I losing a piece here? I'm fine, right? Knight takes, pawn takes. And if he takes here, I got check and takes a rook. That was really lucky. I obviously didn't see it. Yeah, now I check and I take. Yeah. Peteros, GG, you really played well. You really played well. And guys, it is an adoption stream. I have another son. Welcome to the family, Mr. Peteros. GG, well played. Okay, let's see who is challenging. Got a lot of people. Uh, are you still here, Mr. GM Derek? Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I see you. Uh, but I'm gonna get revenge on this guy who beat me last stream. Uh, I don't remember how he beat me though. But Sirius Lama, good luck to you. Oh, he didn't beat me. Sorry, he. Uh, he had a draw against me. Okay, I'm going to take this game very, very, very seriously. Mr. Sirius Lama, you are not going to come on my stream and steal my rating points like this. Okay, so did he already blundered? Yes. How did I draw against this guy last time? Sirius Lama, seriously. No, 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 no. I can't give you a rematch, buddy. Everyone is waiting here. Sorry, you blunder a bishop, you blunder a bishop. Yeah, there's no rematch here, you know? Like, uh, you have to uh, <laughs> you have to be able to handle the heat, you know? Um, yeah, that was fast. All right, let's get Mr. One of my favorite. One of my favorite guy in the chat. Mr. Brandozen. Good luck to you, Mr. Brandozen. Always a pleasure. Okay. All right. People rooting for Brandozen. This is cute. This is cute. It's very cute that you guys are rooting for him. Uh, okay, I'm going to get this bishop. If he offers it for free, why not? And now he's going to come at me. I know him well enough that he's going to push F4. You know, we'll do the Brandozen business, you know? Oh my goodness. Really? Really, Brandozen? Why do you force me to think like this? Brandozen always with the bluffs. Always bluffing. You got nothing, buddy. You got absolutely nothing. Why do you bluff me every game? Let's just collect. Let's just collect his pieces and uh, collect the F5 pawn and collect this. Just making sure that he has no perp. But all the dark squares over here on this diagonal are covered. I'm simply gonna get the exchange. So we gotta we gotta have a bunch of players here just to give some rating. So let's keep it coming. Brandozen, thanks for playing. Uh okay, we got someone from England who wants to play for the first time ever. Anthony. Uh so Anthony, there are a lot of chats. There is a chat on chess 24, which is the best chat. And in uh second place, we got the Twitch, we got a Twitch chat. And very, very far on third place, we got Facebook. And very, very far after this, we got the YouTube chat. The most toxic chat on the internet. So toxic that I'm not even reading it. But I invite every decent human being who is watching from YouTube right now to, you know, Come join the family on Chess24 and interact with other decent human beings. If you're capable of, you like graduate from YouTube and you go to uh, Chess24 when you're ready for social interactions. So Bishop E3, B4, Bishop F2. 
And uh, hey, 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 guys, 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 don't don't lecture my little Lucas Wang here. Let me handle Mr. Lucas Wang. Don't you guys, don't you guys lecture Lucas Wang. He's my student. <laughs> Leave him alone. Anthony, you don't see the chat? Uh, okay, wait a sec. I'm a little busy here. A little busy because he wants to take this guy, right? So knight here, I'm going to have to go queen c2. Yeah. But the problem of queen c2 is that I no longer have any sort of nonsense and sacking the bishop on h5. He's really asking for trouble here. My prediction is that he's going to get his queen trapped. e5 takes, bishop takes, and b4 traps the queen, right? And many variations. Let's see. Knight c4 could be annoying. Don't be sorry, serious lemma. Don't be sorry. It's all good. We have all been here. We have all been here. Can I take? Hopefully. Now b4 is the is a threat. Wait, it's already 442? Oh my gosh. Guys, can you let me know in the chat at what time I started my banter? Let me know in the chat, please. Let's play B4. Like, I started an hour ago, right? Time flies when you... When you get molested by Vincent, time flies. You don't see... You don't see time passing. Okay, he's playing really, really good here. He's playing really good chess here. I'm going to have to play h4 and sack a pawn. Guys, I don't have a great game. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to have to be honest with myself. I uh, I don't like my game. The 1700 is uh, playing some uh, very impressive chess over here. Okay, so I have trouble with this, with that. Can I take in d6? Okay, let's bluff him. Let's bluff him. Let's pretend that I'm giving a pawn. You were a little bit Lofong. Maybe you can do 10 minutes longer. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do 10 minutes longer. I like it. You're not bossing me. You're not saying do 10 minutes longer, right? Okay, here, bishop f8, knight e4. I think, I think I'm winning back my material. <laughs> Violet, nice comment. Uh, knight e4. Rook c8. But then queen g2, rook c6, knight f6, takes, bishop takes. Is my amazing calculation right here. Okay, rook here, I go queen g2. He has rook e6. He has some issues. He definitely has some issues. Uh, rook e6, maybe rook a2, trying to go rook d2. I'm down two pawns. Okay, now he's going for... Now he's going for nonsense. Uh, let's take here. Let's take this guy. Uh, queen f2, threatening. Always threat, guys. Whenever your opponent is in time pressure, just uh, make sure that you're threatening something. Check. Bishop here. Oh, rook was hanging. But it's all good. It's all good. GG, Mr. Ura, Ura Inyum. If I pronounce this correctly. GG. Okay, who else wants to play? Oh my god, so many players. I think I'm gonna have to uh go up a little bit in rating because people are gonna complain very soon if I don't. So let's play against uh my favorite guy, Blunderpenda. 
And uh, yes, I saw. I saw prom night. I saw. I might. I might accept him, but uh, I'm going to negotiate with him. Wait a sec. What's his name again? Okay, D R K H N. Change your challenge to three minutes, and I might accept. Okay, Blunder Panda. Best of luck to you. Okay. Okay, so I'm playing this uh, kind of a uh, reverse Sicilian. Yeah, Lucas Wang, be patient, Mr. Lucas. Be patient. Queen B3 incoming. Uh, I'm going to go here. What's up? Game over, bro. Guys, follow Mr. Game Over, bro. He has an excellent stream. And... Um, I have been a special guest on his stream lately, so give him a little love. And then game over, bro, on Twitch. And uh, on Instagram, he has a very similar name. So thanks for tuning in, buddy. When is our uh, when is our next stream? It is Canada Day tomorrow. If you have some free time, let me know. I might uh, pop by. And beautiful Laval. Yes, Game Over Bro is a maroon. And he um, he made an appearance in real life on my Banter 100. And uh, we had some uh, we had some fun. It was uh, definitely really, really cool. Can I play B5? He always hits me with Knight C5. That's, uh, that's my only concern here. Let's play D4. Open things up. And uh, I'm going to take with the knight if he takes. Uh, I could go e4, but uh, d5 also looks good. If I get a knight to c6 eventually, it would be really nice. So I'm going to take with the pawn. Uh, okay, he goes here. Now, if he takes, I can get a knight to c6. Oh, he wants knight here. Okay, I'm going to play e3 and g4. Just so he doesn't get his knight to d4. I'm going to push g4, knight back, and then maybe e4. We will see. Blunder Panda playing uh, some really good chess this game. Yeah, very, very cool guy. Very cool guy in indeed. I uh, completely agree. Uh, maybe knight e4. Yeah, okay. I'm starting to run low on time uh, for my standard. And I can't let this happen. Uh, so he goes here. Let's say bishop c3. Just making sure that I'm not getting trapped here. I want to play a bc5 with some punch, you know. bc5 takes queen b6. He's playing very solid. Very impressive, Mr. Uh, Blunder Panda. Maybe knight e3, knight b5 would have been nice too. Um, okay, this is not a great positional move, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, okay, now I'm gonna take. And let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna try to uh, put some pressure on the on the D pawn. Okay, Queen B6 takes takes Bishop F8, and then maybe Rook B1. You know. Good evening from Portugal, man. Oh man, Portugal, sweet spot of mine. Oh my god. Love Portugal. Why didn't I take this? I'm talking about Portugal and I'm thinking about Duro, thinking about the wine, thinking about a beautiful trip I had. And uh definitely not focus on, on chess right now. Wait a sec. Is he bluffing? Are you bluffing, buddy? Are you bluffing? You are probably bluffing, because I'm covering this square twice, and I don't see you mating me in any kind of future. Uh, rook here, rook here. I mean, rook here is really strong. I'm pinning, pinning everything. And bishop e5 is on top. I'm just going to walk my king here just so that he doesn't have any kind of mate. I'm going to play king g3. Oh, if you want to trade, I am good with that. I cannot take here, but let's go knight b5. 
This is completely over. I got a very solid position here. I'm going to win some pawns. Blunder Penda, thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Okay. You must come to Porto, a magical place near Duro River. Well, Mr. Master Viratovic, I just said that I was in Portugal last summer. And uh, I indeed went to Porto. And I also had uh, a wine tour on the Duro River. And uh, I don't exactly remember how it finished because uh, huh, they kept feeding me shots of Porto one after the other. I think I had like more than 15 shots on that day. And I was definitely past the stage of being tipsy. All right, I'm playing Lafong here. I'm playing myself. <laughs> this is very funny. So Lafong versus Lafong. Who is going to win? Who is going to win? Is he pre-moving? He's not pre-moving. All right. So we're going to play the F3 Nemzo if he plays bishop before. Okay. Let's take here. Let's go bishop g5. Yubitsia. Thanks for our uh, tuning in. Spenny Thompson. Good afternoon from Toronto. Just looked you up and I see that you're Canadian. Are you in Montreal now? Yes, born and raised in Montreal. I love Toronto. I have a lot of friends. Shout out to Mr. Mark Plotkin, who is also from Toronto, and he was on my stream. Joe Cal saying, I like your hair. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate the compliment. Follow my Instagram if you want more hair content. Uh, so here, Bishop B7, I just take on F6. And this is a opening, opening trap that Lafong just uh, fell for, unfortunately. Bishop d8 is a normal move, but I can probably just play Bishop e4 and uh, <laughs> hair content. Yeah, yeah, Magnus is trash. Yes, hair content. Yes. That picture was taken on the Montreal Summer Chess Classic, I think, in 2018 or something. It's an old picture of mine. Uh, well, this is another free pawn. And then I'm going to come back here. Yeah. If you want to follow my Instagram, you're going to get hair content, chess, fashion. You are getting the full package over here. So King F2, just unpinning myself and uh, preparing to play F E4. But uh, it's kind of annoying here. I think I'm going to do something weird. Unless he can take an f5. Oh, okay, I'm just going to go here. Probably bishop b5. Ah, oh, it's kind of annoying. Why Why? Why did I do that? Oh, man. Okay, I didn't play I didn't play this well. Bishop c4, rook here, b3. At least going to make him sack. But then at least I have some g3. Okay, b3. b5 I have to take. And it's kind of unpleasant. All right, g3. And I think I'm just in time. All right, just in time. B5, bishop d3. No rooks are welcome to my house. <laughs> Jokal17, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like, honestly, I really, really appreciate the comments. Like, you, you made my day. You're really making my day when you're talking about this. Violin is asking, Lafong, why is it that you play certain players every stream and let others wait weeks and longer? By which criteria do you choose? Your audience would love to have more transparency in this regard. Um, so Violin, if you want to file a complaint, you can talk to uh, one of my two bosses. You can talk to Mr. GM Pascal Charbonneau, or you can uh, talk to Mr. Zlatan, Mr. Laurent Fressinet. Um, just look them up and uh, file a complaint. And um, you can tell them that uh, it is not easy for you to uh, wait for weeks and, you know, tears and the whole thing. Um, yeah. So I strongly encourage you to do so if you are not satisfied about my selection criteria. There is really no issues here. Okay, e5 check, check, and then d6. 
and then king here i think is okay that is not an answer <laughs> okay well uh you could also uh tell them that uh, you're not satisfied with uh the answers that are given on my show uh should i be mean and play check knight here and king here check this is really mean but i really want to do this no okay let's just let's just made him oh look at this guys this is beautiful this is beautiful all right gg mr drkhn yes no no i wanted to mate Vincent Brassard, i wanted to mate i wanted to mate yeah but but guys uh honestly if uh if you didn't get a game for weeks it's not random like i'm definitely doing this on purpose guys so if you didn't get a game for weeks like it's on purpose for sure there's no way i'm ignoring you or uh sorry there is a way i'm ignoring you but there's no way i um accidentally don't pick you and now it's a detective game you can watch past streams you can watch past chat and you can uh, maybe reflect on your own behavior and maybe if you're smart enough you might figure out why you didn't get a game <laughs> for weeks uh lucas wang change your challenge to three minutes and i'm gonna take you magnus is trash i love this username and magnus is trash is backing me up when I'm roasting people. So I need some people on my team right here. Magnus is definitely on my team. So let's give you a game. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Oh, you are the one who plays H A G5, right? Y a-t-il des parcs à Montréal pour jouer des échecs en plein air? Yes, uh, there is a uh, Spenny Thompson. I also speak English if you wanna, if you wanna speak English uh, with me. I understand by, that my English is not, uh, maybe not up to your standard um but uh yeah are there any parks to play in montreal there is there are sorry uh just uh let me think about it just a little bit and i might give you an answer maybe next stream i honestly can't remember exactly but you know you don't need parks with chess boards right like we are assuming that you would bring your own chess board <laughs> Thank you, uh, Spenny Thompson. Uh, my English is definitely not perfect, but I try to improve it every day. Try to improve it uh, every day. Uh, no, but Sydney, don't worry. Um, you don't need to ask strange questions to be on the blacklist. You know, you uh, you can do way less than that to be to be on my blacklist it doesn't take much it really doesn't take much you know but you know uh on the other hand i am on a lot of people's blacklist think about everyone i have bishop h6 in my life and uh maybe half of them blocked me you know i randomly tuned in on kamsky's stream the other day i swear to god first time tuning in on uh, Kamsky stream and the first thing I see randomly he gets into a rook versus rook endgame and he gets flagged but he offered draw and the other guy flagged him and then he automatically blocked him and I was like whoa people block people for that reason it's crazy <laughs> you guys could flag me all you want I'm never gonna block you for that reason and I mean you're never gonna be on my blacklist because you flagged me on the contrary, you would be on my cool people's list. Like, I would actually respect you if you flagged me, you know? At the end of the game, I'm, I'm never going to say like, oh my God, look at this guy flagging me. He has absolutely no skills. On the contrary, I will say, wow, he's really learning well from watching me. I'm so proud of him. He uses my own weapon to beat me. Uh, okay, he goes here. I really want to take and play here. Is there a way I can distract this queen? I'm just going to go here. No, no. So prom night, my point is that, uh, okay, there are two separate subjects here. 
Um, there are some people that I choose more often than others, like, you know, Eminent, Prom Night, uh, Blunder Panda, because those guys are really, really faithful and tuning in every time, chatting with me. Like, I have to give them some love. There are some people who happen to play more often than, than others without playing every stream, like guys like Vincent Brassard or uh, I can't think of other names. Um, and there are some players, uh, I can name them maybe with one hand, I can count them on one hand, who don't get a game. Like, guys, like we're talking about like four or five annoying people like out of, <laughs> I don't know how many thousands who are watching. So <laughs> don't start thinking that I'm hating people. No, no, no. It's just, you know, like, like if you're annoying in the chat, uh, you don't get a game. If you're annoying during a game, you don't get a game, you know? And, um, but what we're, we're talking about like four or five people. I, I really do try to accept uh, new people uh, every stream, except that there are so many, so many people to play that I just can't, you know? I'm really doing my best here. Right now I'm scrolling, scrolling through names and uh, I'm trying to pick my last blitz of the day and it's really not easy okay i'm gonna pick a very strong player here mr a c z um i also forgot about lucas wang damn it okay lucas challenge three minutes oh, no because lucas is actually gonna cry if i don't pick him well violin is probably crying too but uh i care just slightly more about lucas wang crying uh, because he is probably a few years younger than Violin. So I think I can expect Violin to uh, get over it uh, easier than Lucas Wang. So I think I'm going to give a game to Lucas Wang uh, if, he, uh, if he challenges me to three minutes. Okay, Lucas, I'm going to see how, how quick I can finish this game. But uh, yeah, Lucas, I'm so sorry. Just uh, happened to for forget about you. But Susik, you are a pleb. You are a pleb. How you have to tell me how can I be convinced to play against you when you're a pleb? As much as I like you, at the end of the day, a pleb is a pleb, right? And uh, there's really nothing I can do. No, Koopy, come on. No, 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 no. Koopy, de you're definitely... No, 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 guys, guys. Okay, stop. Guys, we're talking about three, four guys. Koopy, <laughs> I love everyone here. Seriously. Like, even Sydney. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't go that far. I don't love this guy. But, you know, like, I don't hate him. <laughs> Let's... Uh, Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Um, okay, Knight here. Okay, he's playing He's playing fast, which is a little bit annoying here. Okay, let's go here. Oh, G4, Knight D6. Okay, I'm going to have to go a little faster here. Knight here. Okay, I got to put my running shoes here. Uh, here, I'm going to... Take back with the knight. And I'm going to have to trade the bishop versus the knight. Man, this is going to be a flag fest, guys. I don't hate plebs. I love plebs, guys. <laughs> I love plebs. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. I feel so bad. No, I don't feel bad, but, you know. It's the way it's going to be. It is the way it's going to be. So I have to come here because I have to decline the rook exchange. Uh, let's go here. Okay, let's take this guy and play h4. I really have to play fast here. I'm getting rid of my only weakness uh, because it will be more simple to flag in the endgame. So I'm expecting rook d1 here. Oh, okay. Okay, check. Okay, let's go here. Turning rook h4, rook c4. Okay, check. He either has to give me g1 or g4. Now we're going to have some fun in the back rank. And again, guys, the goal here is not to win. It's just to be annoying enough with uh, with the rook uh, so that he always has to uh, think twice about any move he makes. Um, 
let's go here. Maybe F5 check. Okay, Rook C1. Still up on the clock. So don't forget, guys. The goal is to flag. That's the main goal. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Uh-oh. He wants to get this pawn, right? Um, shoot. I don't like what I did. Okay, let's cut his king. Yeah, let's go here. I'm kind of in trouble here. Let's go here. Let's try to get rook against rook. Rook against rook is really my best chance over here. Uh, let's go here. Check. Here. Check. Here. Okay, th that's good for rook against rook. That's amazing. To flag this, it's amazing because he's probably going to try to win it and he won't be able to. Now let's move the king so I can repeat the moves with the rook. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Now I can repeat a few moves with the rook. Check, check. Let's go here. Let's go check and rook f5. Okay, let's go uh, here. Let's go here. Let's repeat a few times. Okay. And now let's go back here and let's go back. No, let's check actually, because if I go back, the perp is too easy for him. Let's go here. And this should be a very easy flag. Okay, look at this guy. Oh, check is better. Check is better. Uh, the problem, guys, is that you have to be very careful. Um, if if I take here, he might have enough time to queen here and, and take. So don't think about the best moves, guys. Like, always try to think about the way you want to flag. So um, the other the other uh, very important thing, forget about the Philidor theory here. Uh, I mean, if, if I just stay in front of the pawn, it's a draw. Um, here, 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 that, that's pretty good. And when he's really low on time, like I can hit him with this. I have a lot of checks. And the, the only way he can avoid the, the, the checks is going to c7. But then I can gain so much time here uh, before he queens the pawn. So GG, Mr. Uh, Mr. ACZ. Um, let's try to see if uh, Mr. Lucas Wang is challenging. If he's not, oh yeah, Lucas Wang, let's go. Let's go, Mr. Lucas Wang. Okay, D4. Um, Freddy's new nightmare. He had a point. Uh, he had point eight second, and there's no way he's pre-moving rook takes h1. Uh, so I was very confident that he wouldn't do it. And you know, it's for entertainment. You know, if he does it, like props to him. But there's no way he, he can do it in point eight second if he doesn't pre-move. Like the only pre-move he's gonna do is a king move because he thinks I'm gonna check. And the other way that he could do it is play rook h8 check, and then I can just take the rook. I know, Jokal17. I've I've told uh, I have told Mr. Uh, Charbonneau and Mr. Zlatan that uh, I'm up for a flagging course. I don't know theory here, and the problem is that Lucas Wang might know theory, <laughs> so I might be in deep trouble here. Oh my God, is he gonna play g5 and rook lift? Like I know this is some theory, but if he does this, I might be dead. Lucas Wang, be nice to me. Don't don't like just, you know. Don't do that to me. He's going to play h5 and just kill me. Um, rook c1. Can I play knight b5? No, he's he's playing super well. He's playing super well. Like, I might lose this game. I might lose this game. Hello, Ali King. Good to see you. Uh, oh, man, he's coming. He's really coming at me. He's really coming at me. Can I play g4? If he plays g4, takes, takes. Yeah, I'll just take it. I'll just take it and. Uh... Okay, let's go here. 
Uh, I'm actually scared. Like Lucas is playing way way stronger than than usual. Ubitia, I wish, I wish. For now, not for now, but uh, maybe one day when they allow me to. No, Vincent Brassard, I agree. Lucas Wang playing some really good chess right now. Guys, this is the last blitz. Challenge me 1-0. Make sure to challenge me 1-0, guys. And um, we're going to play some... Uh, we're gonna play some bullet man he's playing here to take here this is really impressive stuff no lucas like stop it no it is a compliment brett brett <laughs> it is a compliment can you play the king's gambit yes i can will i probably not um i'm kind of Finishing my show, Mr. Dino Sao. Um, but usually 3-0 rated is the time control of choice. Uh, I'm going to play a few more games. Uh, I'm going to play a few bullet games to close the show. But feel free to uh, challenge me in bullet if you wish. Or if you're not a fan of bullet, just uh, make sure to uh, tune in to my next show. Whoa, okay, Lucas Wang really going for the kill. Is he bluffing? Is he bluffing? Dude, Lucas. Seriously? No, seriously, Lucas. Like, like if I take, are you going to mate me with, like... Don't do it, Lucas. Don't mate your teacher like this. I'm actually really scared. Like, how do I even escape here? Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Lucas, don't do that to me. Rook H7? How is he playing so well? Oh my goodness. No, Queen H6. <gasps> I get made it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm getting made it. Are you serious? Lucas. Lucas? Lucas? Don't do it to me. Am I going to lose to Lucas Wang? No way. Are you kidding me? I'm speechless. What the hell? Dude. Did I Am I going to lose to my to my student? I'm speechless. Wow. I lost to a six-year-old, guys. I lost to Lucas Wang. <laughs> I, have, I have no words. I have no words. What the hell? Okay, let's analyze this game. Look at this guy. Who, who taught him to play this well? Oh, yeah, it's me. But I called his bluff. I called his bluff. I didn't believe it. Bishop g5. Okay, here maybe I went. Okay, I only saw rook h7. But am I dead here? I'm probably dead. I'm probably de be dead. I think I have to take here. I, I don't think I can... Uh, I think I have to take on g4, but what a game, man. Look at this guy, queen h6.
I thought I was going to flag him. This is really clean. And then I'm just made it. This is very, very impressive stuff. No, but th 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 there's no other guy that I would rather lose than to Lucas. No, but this is really impressive. Wow. I I'm completely speechless. And with a rucksack. And with a rucksack. Well, Lucas, remember how like not even a month ago, because you're still premium, I, I said that... Um, I said that uh, you were a shy guy and that uh, uh, it takes a lot of courage to play me and stuff. And then I beat you. And then I, I told you that uh, that one day you're going to beat me. And uh, on that day, you're going to remember. You remember uh, that day? Well, when I said that day, it, in my mind, it would be years, right? It wouldn't be like 20 days or something. Guys, like... I don't know, record, like just frame this game. And no, that was really beautiful. Like I, I have absolutely no excuses. He completely molested me and a really nice King's Indian. And he is just giving up his rook and boom, he goes queen h6 and goes for the mate. <laughs> this is so impressive. This is so impressive. He is... The young, uh, not a well, he's definitely the youngest and also the lowest rated guy I have ever lost to on chess 24. This is really, really impressive. Okay, guys, I, I know that 98 is uh, is a little bit uh, optimistic, uh, but hey, I'm playing my student here. I, I obviously didn't calculate the whole thing, I thought I would be okay, or I was counting on the fact that you know he's six years old, 1400, he won't find the mate, but look at this man okay uh let's uh okay I, I, I and to to all the people who are ch trying to say that i threw this game for content i definitely didn't i didn't throw this game guys like the only throw i made is to not play my four pawns attack this is the only throw i made but i i really tried my best like after bishop e2 that's so impressive no no that I, i'm so happy to to give my rating to lucas uh, I had 3236, so that's my highest. Now I'm back at least above 3200. All right, guys, follow my Instagram for content for my bio. And in my bio, you will find a link to the next stream. Schedule always available here. We are closing in on 800 followers. Guys, please do me a favor and give me some love. Uh, hope you enjoyed the show today. Uh, we have a promo code. I think it's study chess for 40% off premium membership. If someone wants to link into the chat, otherwise Bishop H takes always works for 15%. And uh, without further ado, I think I'm doing some overtime here. We are going to take some challenges and uh, take some one zero. And uh, I'm going to warn you guys, I'm not in a good mood right now. No, I'm in a good mood. I mean, losing to my student is always uh, okay. Uh, tsunami crusher. Okay. Let's adopt this guy because we are at 9-0. So, Tsunami Crusher, good luck to you. Ivan Sanchez, what's up? Hope you're going to enjoy the bullet portion of my stream. All right, let's go here. And he's playing a Trompowski. Okay. Let's go here. H5, H4 maybe. Okay. Okay, 94. Takes, takes. I'm going to go D5. And then, oh, he goes here. This is a... Kind of a suspicious move because uh, my bishop is really doing a great job on this square. And if he moves the knight away, I'm not even going to bother taking it. I'm just going to play queen d6 or take here or queen d6 first. Queen d6 first, I, I feel. Knight takes, pawn takes. This is weak. Here. And then I'm going to somehow reroute the bishop just to attack this pawn. Or I can flag him. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's go bishop here. Okay, let's take this guy, bishop here, and now I get the pawn, and then I get the other pawn, and then I get the other pawn, and I get all of them. Uh, okay, bishop here. I'm going to avoid any kind of nonsense. Okay. Uh, let's take this guy. Let's take that guy. Don't try to play fast, buddy. Don't try to play fast. I guess he's going to resign. 
All right, Tsunami Crusher, GG, and another son into my family. Rising Star, we didn't have a, a chance to play today, so good luck to you. We have played three times, so best of luck to you, Mr. Rising Star. Okay, let's go. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who is pre-moving. So I won't. Uh, well, he wants to play b4 here. Yeah, let's go here. Threatening to play knight e4. Wait, did I lag? What is this? Why did I lag? Am I lagging, guys? Am I dropping frames or something? Yeah, I'm dropping uh, little frames here. Uh, this is not fun. This is not fun because uh, in bullet, I cannot afford to drop any kind of frames. Let's go back here. Uh, let's go h6 and f5. Okay. e5. If he takes, I'm going to take. He goes here, f4. g5. And you know, let's learn from Lucas here. Let's learn from Lucas and try to uh, mate this guy in a very similar fashion here. Let's try to mate this guy. Oh, okay. He doesn't want to get mated. That's very understandable. Okay, let's take this guy. And now we're going to have to put the running shoes and uh, play very fast. Check. GG, Mr. Rising Star. Okay, is there a last, last bullet I can take? Um, last bullet I can take. Okay, Ali King. Ali King, hopefully it works. Um, okay, let's do it. This is going to be a tough game, guys. This is going to be a tough game. Okay. Okay. Let's go here. I guess I have a very good game. Okay, let's go here. Uh, bishop h5. Okay, bishop here. I can go back to e4. a6, b5. And knight a5. Let's go here. Maybe king b6 next. h6, g5 is on top. I don't believe in that move. Uh, bishop a3. Bishop b4. And I can take this guy. Okay, maybe that wasn't best. Oh, but he's losing a piece if he takes here. Okay, that's good. Oh, shoot. I didn't see this. I didn't see this. Uh-oh. Uh, that was bad. That was pretty bad. Okay, I'm getting tortured here. Okay, A4. G5. Okay. I'm going to have to speed things up a little bit. Oh my god, that guy was quick. That guy was quick. Holy smokes. That was tough. Ali King, bonne partie. GG. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Uh, I think I did more than uh, more than overtime today. Hope you guys are impressed. Uh, <laughs> but hey, congrats to Lucas Wang, who is the only person who uh, who beat me today and put me back to uh, slightly above 3200. Guys, Thank you so much for tuning in. That was really fun. Next stream, same time on Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time in Montreal. Hope you guys had a fantastic time today. And I will see you in 48 hours. Have a very good evening, guys. Take care.